Hi y'all, I am throwing this video together super quickly, just cleared off my desk space, set up a couple of cameras, uh, because I just took delivery 30 minutes ago of my new Nikon Z6 III. Uh, Pre-orders for this opened last Monday. I put in a pre-order through b &H Photography, not sponsored by them, just a customer, uh, and got it delivered less than two weeks later. So I'm really excited to open up this box. I wanna kind of just open it, show you an unboxing, show you what the camera comes with and what it doesn't come with. Uh, the big thing it doesn't come with is a battery charger, uh, but it does come with an ENEL 15C uh, battery, uh, and then go through all the settings and specs and see what's in the box. So let's open this up. All right, good packaging as always from BNH. And there she is, Nikon Z6 III. Oh, that's coming in on this camera up there. Out she comes. As I say, b &H always does, takes care of their customers. Good packaging. Always has good equipment in stock. I hope they have a lot of these because I think a lot of folks are going to be excited about this camera, as am I. Uh, for comparison, I'm currently shooting uh, Nikon D500s. This is actually going to be my first mirrorless camera. Uh, I'm typically using, for wildlife, a D500, for example, with the old Nikon, uh, old 200 to 500, it's not that old, um, but I'm very excited about this new camera for wildlife and macro photography, which I do mostly, uh, as well as I did another BNH purchase for the 100 to six, 180 to 600 millimeter um, wildlife lens that Nikon has for the Z bodies uh, so i'm excited about that and that's kind of the old setup that i think a lot of wildlife photographers had or have had for the last few years is a d500 with that 200 to 500 it's a great combo for wildlife and still is a great combo um, but i'm really looking forward to the new autofocus features in the z63 uh, and this new uh, wildlife lens which is a little bit lighter should be a perfect combo and i think a lot of wildlife shooters are going to be working with the Z63 180 to 600 uh, here in the future. So let's see what's in the box. There she is. You got your warranty cards, uh, information, camera manual, always important to uh, have your user's manual read thoroughly through that. I hardly even know the specs of this camera, not off the top of my head, um, but certainly was excited about this coming out. I'll mention a few of the specs here, but there are spec lists online. I'm sure folks watching this already know the specs better than I do. Um, but the user manual is always a good thing to have on your camera. What I like to do is download a PDF version of this to my cell phone. So in case I'm ever in the field or uh, am you know, curious, how do I change this setting or play with this button? Um, especially if I'm caught short in the field, I have it downloaded to my camera instead of relying on the internet or trying to find the manual buried in my bag. Uh, inside the box, you have a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, that'll be for charging the camera. You can actually charge um, the camera straight from USB-C. And a really interesting thing, I also purchased, but it's not yet delivered, the uh, battery grip, which actually looks kind of ugly for this uh, Z6 III. But um, what's interesting with that is you'll be able to hot swap uh, those batteries. So um, that can be useful during filming, etc. Uh, you also get some cable guides. I don't know that I've ever used these, but you can screw these into the side of your camera, hook up your HDMI cables, etc. Uh, the Z63 does come with a full-size HDMI port for video out or uh, whatever you need to be doing there. So that's useful. And the video screen on the Z63 is something I'm excited about. A little bit of controversy of people like it or don't like it. Um, I think it's a good option for content creation. Um, which a lot of folks are getting into. Uh, I'm going to mostly be using this as a photography stills camera, but it's always helpful, I think, to have a little bit of a flip out to look at composition. Uh, it might make things a little harder for hand holding the camera down low, things like that, but you know, I'm, I'm sort of ambivalent about it, if not excited about it. Uh, camera strap, and then, oh, here's our ENEL15 battery. I already have one of these charging, uh, or charged, and um, as I say, we'll be getting that uh, battery grip as soon as that becomes available and gets shipped out. Um, but here is our camera. That is 
everything in the box. I'll pop that away. And I'll show you the Z63. And there it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous camera. Hopefully you can see that on that screen up there. Nikon Z63. There's that logo everybody was talking about. Um, I've heard, oh yeah, the front dial is a little difficult to twist. It's a little recessed. That's, that's not bad. That will be harder with gloves, but not too bad. Back dial is nice and snappy. That's, that works very well. Here's that flip screen uh, everyone's been talking about. You can flip and rotate. You can fold it back or view yourself uh, as, you're, as you're framing up, say, a video of yourself. That'll make filming by yourself easier in the field, um, which I am I'm aiming to do a lot of. Um, and then, as I say, if you're, hand, if you're holding the uh, camera down low, you're going to have to be a little bit offset um, for when you're framing up a low shot, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, I'm very excited to power this on and look through the viewfinder i won't do that in this video but i'll do some more videos especially once i get that 180 to 600 um, and do some actual wildlife videos um, but this is supposed to have probably the best uh, not even probably just the best viewfinder uh, of any camera currently available on the market the brightest uh, it has 120 frames per second uh, refresh rate in the viewfinder so very lifelike um, and depending on the shooting mode virtually every shooting mode you have zero blackout or virtually zero blackout um, in through this viewfinder so very excited about that uh, front of the camera we've got those two function buttons your lens release button uh, again no um, attached flash uh, I don't even know what that button does <laughs> we've got your PSAM uh, dial uh, the play button has now been moved here from up here on the Z6 II um, but this is in line with the Z8 and the Z9 uh, I see this as I can't afford a Z8 or Z9, but I see this as a very uh, a capable backup camera for someone that is primarily shooting a Z8, Z9 uh, combo with the higher megapixels, and then to have this as a backup camera potentially with a 400 um, millimeter PF, maybe the 180 to 600, maybe something lighter like a PF for birds in flight while you're primarily doing wildlife shooting um, with like a Z8 that's a higher megapixel count. Um, 24 megapixels. Uh, on this guy and uh, yeah that's about it there's the battery grip that opens or the um, the card uh, sort of whatever that is the card cover that opens um, and it does yeah it does get in the way everyone's been talking about this uh, the toggle latch there for your for your camera strap that'll be annoying but uh, you know Nikon could have done better by doing a cutout there or migrating this loop somewhere else um, I don't think that'll be too terrible. Um, the battery grip uh, that will come with this camera eventually is an inserted battery grip that screws here and then you'll have two batteries uh, in the base. That'll extend the battery life uh, of this camera. Uh, although this is supposed to have virtually no overheating, um, virtually, well not even virtually, limitless buffer even in the highest um, quality uh, settings at the highest frame rates. Uh, and yeah, this is very exciting. It's my first um, mirrorless camera. I'm very excited to start testing it out. I already have, uh, as I say, a, a charged uh, EN EL15 battery. I'll go ahead and insert that. The thing I just dropped off camera is uh, something I'm not even sure actually fits this camera. This is a Zemlin uh, eye cup, silicone eye cup. I really like shooting with these cups. You can get your, your whole eye in the frame and it cuts down on some side glare and it's much more comfortable I find um, to put right up against your eye although I've never shot as I say with a mirrorless viewfinder um, and these look very good um, I think I will prefer this I don't know if this even actually fits the Z6 III because this is specifically listed for the Z8 slash Z9 uh, again from a company called Zemlin um, but I'm gonna see if I can mount it to that and we'll figure that out <laughs> and then I've got a SD card uh, to insert, try to get a pretty high read speed on that one. And I've never used Wise uh, memory cards before, but they have started to become more highly recommended. Uh, very fast read and write speeds uh, on this uh, CF Express 
type B slash XQD card uh, that can go in here as well. So I will load up and install that. And I went ahead and got an FTZ um, adapter as well, um, because again, I don't haven't shot mirrorless before, so all my cameras currently are F-mount cameras, um, and I'll be migrating through as we go, starting with hopefully that 180 to 600 tomorrow, uh, and we can get out and start shooting some wildlife, really testing the autofocus of this camera. Um, I am really looking forward to using it. In the hand, it, it feels very nice. It feels like a good, solid grip. You probably don't even need the extra battery grip at all. Your pinky's not hanging off too much. This feels very solid, uh, solid and robust, good weather sealing all the way around. There's your uh, ports on the side there. That's a headphone out and mic ports, uh, as well as uh, your full-size HDMI, the uh, USB-C port there um, that you can do charging uh, through and whatever this port is, auxiliary port for, you know, an intervalometer or something like that. Um, all punchy, you know, nicely sealed, nicely rubberized. Um, yeah, this looks and feels like a very solid, solid camera, and this should be a really great price point and feature set um, that people have been waiting a long time for, for Nikon, me included. So um, there you go. That's what comes in the box. As I say, you do not get a battery charger and face it that way um, but you do get the battery with it and it's the same battery nikon's been using for many years now with since the even before the d500 um, so that's that's been good i'm glad they're kind of sticking with that this will be easily swappable between any other cameras that you're running with nikon as long as they're semi-current um, and that should be make this an excellent backup camera or in my case this is going to be my primary wildlife macro and all the other shooting that I do um, camera so very excited about it hope the video is helpful you can see what uh, is coming in your box hopefully everyone will get these delivered soon Nikon's making a, a ton of them I'm sure uh, and as I say as I get a new lens and get to start actually using this lens uh, this camera I'll do some more videos uh, as we go so thanks for watching